How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Now this is going to be a quick one, but in this video we're going to talk about uh, two things. One is how to unpack the maps you get from Quixel Bridge within Unreal that somebody in the audience let me know. So, hey, if you know a better way to do things, by all means, please let me know in the comment section down below. I absolutely do not know everything, so I'm always ears and I always love to hear when people um, have better ways to do things. So please leave those in the comments below. And if it helps the community, I'll be sure to put it into a video like I'm doing today. The second part is got to do with the question that I've been getting from that displacement video is uh, does it only work on planar surfaces? We're going to talk about that. Uh, so please stay tuned all the way to the end and uh, let's get started. First thing, duplicate your map because uh, this is going to be safe and if uh, you want your map for something else, it's going to ruin things. So after you've duplicated your map, then all you have to go do is type color over here in the search box and you're going to see something called source color settings. In source color settings, you're going to change color space from none to custom. That's going to take a little bit and then you're going to use the blue chromaticity because as we stated before, blue stores the displacement map. So we're going to set this from zero to 256. And then we're going to turn from the white chromaticity from zero to 256. As you can see, this gives you the displacement map right here. And all you have to do is click on save. Now, all you have to do is throw in your displacement the same way that we talked about in the previous video that you can find on my channel, apply changes. All right. Now, after we've done this, the other thing that I wanted to show you in this video was the object that I'm using. Now, some people have asked me about using this displacement map in a couple of different ways. I'm going to show you uh, some things about displacement map. So displacement map usually works with the UVs of your objects. That's why the best case scenario always is a planner of or something that's just pointing into one side, like, you know, a floor, a ground or just a rectangular world wall or something like that. But what about if you have uh, a corner like this one? So I have a corner piece. Uh, how is this going to function? How are you going to make it function? The issue usually with corners is the seams. The seams are the things that are between two UB Panels. And if I open this, you can see that I do have two UBs right here. So this is panel A, or let's call it panel A and panel B, this one. And they are uh, in between by these uh, three faces, four faces that I have here because I have a rounded corner. I do not recommend doing this with sharp corners. It can be done, but you're going to get some distortion here in the corner. So make sure that you chamfered a little bit. Uh, chamfer means um, just to get another face in between those corners and add a couple of sides. You can do this in any uh, DCC application of, of your choice. I did this in Blender, just uh, deleted the walls of the cube and added some faces over here. And then I obtained something like this. Now, the reason why it's important is because if I go to something like this where it's already displaced, now you can see that the texture goes seamlessly from one side to the other. If there was a sharp corner here, I will get that um, weird displacing, you know, uh, text weird noise that you get from the geometry being pushed to one side. Because remember, this is being tessellated and it's also being pushed up and down. So if you happen to have a sharp corner, that's really going to affect also if you have a seam. So if it's not like this one, because they're both together, if this piece was, let's say here, you would get something that's, uh, that will have a gap in between because again, it's pushing, but not the, the texture, it's not all together. So that's why it's important that whenever you're making models, your UVs are all stuck together. And you can always check this out by doing uh, going over here into this tool and give either the one, the zero or the one channel. Your UV should be in there, uh, whether you made it yourself or you purchased this from um, the asset store or it's just a simple mega scan that you want to change around. 
because you can change around uh, mega scans with this displacement tool. Now, if you want to see more about this, please leave me in the comment section down below what other questions, what other doubts that you have while using this displacement tool. I'll be more than happy to make videos on that. And yeah, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Just a quick one updating that previous video that I did on displacement and I'll see you in the next one.